Hi, my name is Jesty, and welcome to another episode of Jesty Craft. In today's episode, we are continuing the build a thon. I'm currently here standing on my beautiful narwhal island that we built last episode. I'm doing a new build every episode leading up to the 200th episode live stream special. So, yeah, uh, Hi Popo. <laughs> Speaking of Popo, I don't know if you guys saw, but if you have a very good eagle eye, at the very end of last episode, we saw Popo escape the island. He jumped out right here. I had the block right here a little too high, and there was still a gap there, but polar bears don't recognize that because they're so big, so for Popo, it's just like walking up a block. So he made a break for it. I didn't notice in the episode, it was after I recorded it, and I was doing stuff in between the episodes, I saw a huge white animal on the like mountain behind me and I was like, why does that sheep look so big? And I was like, is the two sheep together? Then I was like, uh oh, that's Popo. <laughs> so yeah, I got him back safe and sound. He's good to go now. And I secured the island. He can no longer escape anywhere, so that's good. Um, and yeah, Jeb is still around here wreaking havoc because he keeps eating blocks of the grass. So yeah, oh, oh, I thought he just did it in front of me, but no, he was on the, one of the snow ones, so good. Okay, let me get home so we can get started with this episode so in today's episode you've already read the title we are building a concert hall this is the build that i teased quite a few episodes ago um actually i had you guys vote on which order you wanted me to do these builds in but i called this build the mystery building because i didn't want to give away what it was but i did show you guys that it's going to be in the shape of the deathly hallow symbol so let me go ahead and grab the map i showed it to you already by the way i actually perfectly centered this build on the map uh, because yeah I thought that would be cool there was nowhere in my world I actually had to scout out a place where I could build this and have it not be like obstructed by something else and have it be in the center of the map so I'm really excited about that because this is gonna be my first perfectly centered build because everything else is like off centered because you can't always like build exactly where you want to on the map like I had to build a horse stable here because the forest was right there um, Narwhal Island is split across four maps. Uh, same thing with the uh, Llama Sanctuary split across four maps. The barn is split across two. So yeah, I wanted to build something that was on one map. So here we go. So I've already tested some designs here because I wanted to do something really, really cool here. If you look at concert halls, in real life very many of them are very architectural and there's lots of like really cool designs to look at some of them are like historical like preservation kind of building places uh but there are also the very modern and like very architectural ones i want to build one like that so i've been testing the designs and this is the one that i've come up with that i'm going to use because i think it looks super cool it gives us like almost this basket weave kind of effect and like i mentioned a few episodes ago I'm building this build entirely out of smooth quartz. Well, smooth quartz and some others. As you can see, I have some pillar quartz back there as well. But smooth quartz, because now with smooth quartz, there's no like bars in the texture of the quartz. So you get these smooth, seamless connections between the blocks. And normally, if this was normal quartz, we would have a line right here um, in the texture. It would just not look as good. But now we have smooth quartz. So let me grab my materials that I'm going to need. I'm gonna need all of this. Actually, I need to make more stairs, by the way this is going to be very resource intensive this wall alone is nearly a full stack of stairs it's 60 exact which is why i have four left um but let me go ahead and use these smooth parts to make more stairs and i'm going to show you how this design works so this shape that i made the deathly hollow symbol this is not going to be part of the build but as you can see it's a repeating pattern it's two 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 one two 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 one so that's how this kind of wall works so what we're going to do we're going to start here then i start with an upward stair or a downward stair an upward stair so we're going to do upstair downstair upstair uh and you guys know placing stairs in minecraft can get very annoying so that's as high as i can go without pillaring up so now i'm just gonna go downstair upstair downstair actually let me do another downstair and then the upstair yeah that way because i wouldn't have been able to reach that otherwise okay so you do that and then you come behind here let me move my map and grab some more smooth quartz and we're going to line this with smooth quartz and the reason for this is because we're going to move in a block and repeat the pattern if i don't put that there there's going to be a gap between the stairs so we don't want that i hear you zombie there's a massive cave system underneath where i am so i'm going to have to deal with that uh but for right now we're just going to ignore the zombie and continue the stair pattern so what if where are we oh we need a down stair down oh that didn't work let me try this again and like i said like yes placing stairs can get very annoying okay so down up down do another down and then up okay and now we're gonna move in and do this one more time right here that zombie is really annoying and it's starting to get on my nerves there we go um 
up, down, up. And let me just jump down, up, and then down, up, down, down, up. Okay, and now at this point, you're gonna come in with your quartz pillars and we're gonna do two back here. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. I should be underneath the one. Yeah, okay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So far I'm doing this 10 blocks high. I don't know if this is how high the building is going to be. I might make it taller, I might make it lower, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be the same pattern. And um, yeah, so yeah, that's basically the wall design and I need to go ahead and do that across the entire like two sides of this build. So now let's talk about the front. The front is going to be a lot of windows and doors. Um, actually, it's just going to be two doors. <laughs> I'm going to put two in the center here, but all the rest of these gaps, which are two blocks each, are going to be windows. I wanted to have a lot of light that can get inside of the building, um, well, in the lobby area, I guess. But this is the design that I came up with. And once again, this is all stairs. I want to say 99% of this building is going to be stairs. So, except for these, I guess these are two half slabs on the bottom side of that, and that was necessary to keep this kind of spacing correct, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do this, and since I'm using this pattern, this is the same pattern as the wall, the reversing stairs. So, what's gonna happen is it's going to be staggered across the front to keep this design in. So, it's one is gonna be higher than the other, then it's gonna go low, then high, then low by a block. So, since it's even, there's going to have to be two that are the same and I'm going to use that in the front on the center here. So these are going to be two tall ones. Then we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, and I guess the end will be a down one. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to connect the corners of this. Uh, this pattern is going to come all the way up to here, but then yeah, we're going to have to figure out how to connect that seamlessly. Same thing with the back because the back is a little different as well. Uh, but yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to get started and I will catch up with you guys when I have more stuff taken care of. So see you in a bit. Okay, it is a bit later and we've run into a slight problem. Nothing too bad, but I just want to talk about this for a little bit. So I've staggered the front like I said I was going to do, but I also had to stagger like the interior part of it. So the tall ones are jutting out one block and then the lower sections are in one. The reason I did that was because I showed you the design earlier. I took it down already, but it was very flat because this kind of stair initially was here and it fills in that gap. So whenever you will look at the front from like this, this angle it just looked like a flat white wall and you didn't really get the textures until you kind of really got it to the front but now with it like this we can still see texture in the front even though we're standing on the side of it so that's why I did that and the reason that caused an issue is because on the map I come out of the Deathly Hallow symbol by one block so I think it's gonna be fine I hope it's gonna be fine I don't think it's gonna look too bad but I really like this and I think it looks a lot better anyway um, so yeah, so that's one thing. I also decided to go ahead and swap the smooth quartz that I backed the stairs with. I'll just break this so you can see what I'm talking about. Remember I was talking about we needed to close this so we didn't have a gap. I used smooth quartz at first, but now I switched to the quartz pillars because I think that looks cooler. Uh, as you look in, like this way, you can see the pillars uh, texture, I guess. And then yes, you still see the back of the stairs right here and it's just smooth, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think that adds a little bit of texture. I still need to do this whole half and this other half of the building and look at how much quartz I've used already. I just want to show you guys this before I kind of cut to the next uh, clip. Look at this. I have gone down so far and luckily I have a ton more at home. I'm not running out anytime soon, but still it's oops, I'm in the wall. There we go. Oh, by the way, I figured out how to connect this side. Um, the stair just kind of goes there and it's going to be straight like this and that's because this is the two. I had to do the same thing in the front. So the stair staggering doesn't work right here um, because I have them to the same height, um, which is the whole reason I was doing up and down because that's how I could get my stairs to stagger like that. Um, but right here we can't, but I think it works because this will be two blocks uh, straight across in the middle and also on the sides of the building. So we have the right side and then the left side when I do that. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the exterior of the building. Oh, by the way, I can also lower the roof now because this lower section right here comes down a little bit lower than, yeah, see, it's down here and then we have like that. So I can lower this by at least like two blocks or so. So the only thing that that might cause an issue for, I do wanna try to build a balcony section in the interior. So I think this is more than high enough. Even if I lower that two blocks, I think I still have more than enough room to do that. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys in a little bit when I have more of this building done. So see you once again in a little bit. 
Okay, the exterior of the building is complete. Well, the sides. I still didn't do the roof yet because I don't know if I need to raise or lower the building in the future. So I left it open just to make it easier in case I have to do so. I'm hoping I don't. I'm hoping it's good as it is right now, but I will find out about that later on. But let me show you what it looks like so far. Dun, da, da, da. It is turning out pretty epic. I am loving how this is turning out. So as you can see, I leveled off the entire interior. You can see where I pillared up. I went ahead and cleared the cave down there. It was a massive cave. I actually went caving. Um, as you can see, I have almost 64 levels now. Uh, but yeah, I did a bunch of work in between the clip uh, but yeah okay so next up we need to plan out how this interior is going to work so I mentioned several episodes ago that the reason I wanted to build this in a triangular shape was because that will serve very well for what I wanted this building to be I didn't say it was gonna be a concert hall at the time but I knew it was gonna be that uh, and yeah the triangle shape focuses the uh, eyes to the back right here which is going to be the stage so the way I'm gonna divide this building up is I'm gonna use the template of the walls to help so we have a three block wide section here what I'm gonna do right here is going to be the back wall and this is gonna be the lobby here this will be the entrance the lobby where we'll have our ticket booths and whatnot um, and then you will come into the hall here and this back level is going to still be level with the lobby but on this next three block wide little section let me get my shovel down here let's move the map we're gonna come down one block and the reason for this is because if you look in concert halls, the audience is always sloped downwards. In Minecraft, we can't do like a gradual slope like that. Uh, so we have the, it's gonna be a little blocky, but it'll still work. And this will kind of do our gradual slope. So this whole little section here is going to be one block lower. The next one, the three block wide section, we're gonna go ahead and go down two blocks. So let's go down two blocks. And I'm gonna just go straight across. Oops, I dug into the ground. I didn't mean to do that. Let me fill that hole in. Okay, and let me get out of here for now because I just want to kind of show you guys the plan and then the very last section right here This is where the stage is gonna be So do I want it? Do I want to keep it like I've been doing like right on the pillar section or do I want to put it in front of there? I'm gonna put it in front for now, but I might change it yeah, again It depends on what happens when I actually start building these things So but this whole section is going to be is that yeah, we can one more um two blocks lower and then the stage will be at the same level that it's already at and the reason for that the stage is always a little higher because everybody needs to be able to see on the stage which is also why the audience slopes down if it was all flat um you wouldn't be able to see over everyone's heads and stuff and you wouldn't be able to see people on stage because they'll be blocked by like seats and stuff so okay so next up the balcony so i do want to build a balcony um i'm thinking i can't go too high if i put a block here that gives us a three block tall like back wall section which I think will be okay yeah so um, this will kind of be the back of the balcony and just like the lower section slopes down a block when we get to here the balcony will come down a block as well well maybe not exactly right there because then that makes a two block kind of thing yeah maybe not there maybe it'll come down one block later on but remember this will be lower at that point uh, and it's only gonna come as far as probably half of this middle section here uh, so yeah I think that'll work out pretty well and again this will be the back wall um, let me just center it for now uh, and we'll put a oh that's not centered let's break that Oop, oh I just had some serious lag happen uh, there we go Okay, so that'll be the entrance into the hall. You know what? We might also put some doors on the sides over here as well. Um, maybe like right there. Could be another set of double doors. I don't know. Again, I'll figure that stuff out later. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of this stuff. And the next time I check in with you guys, we'll have, I hope, more things done. But yeah, I will see you in a bit. Okay, it is several days later and I had to do the unthinkable. I had to go back to the nether and mine for more quartz and I need to go back again. Guys, I've used so much quartz. The quartz that I showed you in the beginning of the episode, that wasn't all of it. I told you that wasn't all of it. I still had like three times as much at home. I used it all and I just came back from the nether as you can see I have 68 levels now. I could have mined more quartz but I was like oh this should be more than enough. So I came back, tried to complete the interior, 
did not complete the interior because I need more quartz again so I'm gonna have to go back so I'm just gonna show you we're not gonna look yeah I'm gonna save that for the grand reveal but the interior is almost complete and I did change a few things that I talked about earlier but not many it's basically exactly what I said I was gonna do um, but I had to adjust the spacing of things just because like I said as I actually started building things you have to make things work somehow and I had to make things work so yeah um okay so let's go ahead and head on to the squidgeary so we can add in a new subscriber for today so if you don't already know the squidgeary is where i add in new subscribers to my world and if you're interested in getting added here all you have to do is leave comments on my videos and if i see you there often that gives you a high likelihood of getting added into the squidgeary i'm gonna go ahead and glide onto the ship today because that way i don't have to worry about trying to swim up that trap door and that'll make my life a lot easier so we'll just come right here and glide on down so let me eat while I'm thinking about it. There we go. The subscriber that I am adding today is dun, da, 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 Milo. Milo always shares with me his thoughts on my builds and the episodes, and it's always fun chatting with him. So I figured I would go ahead and add him into the squidgeary. So Milo is a tomato clownfish. And by the way, I always go looking for like interesting looking fish because I want them all to look different in here. And I've only found one tomato clownfish. Pretty much every other fish that I have in here, I've seen multiples and several of them. I think. I think this tomato clownfish might be pretty rare. I don't know. Well, let me go ahead and make Milo walk the plank. Dun, da, da, da. There we go. So now he is in the squid area. Oh, I do want to talk about this. If you guys watch the Minecon live event, they're going to go ahead and add in a new mob and everybody voted for it. And the one that won the vote is the glow squid. So I'm planning to put the glow squid in here. I'm going to remove the sea pickle lighting and it's going to be dark in here. And then the glow squid can like swim around and it'll like light up it'll be really cool oh by the way the re oh hi echo you just gave me dolphin space now i'm out of control thanks stop it stop <laughs> there we go let me kind of slow down slow down dolphin grace we're out there we go okay the reason i glassed this off was because echo swam in here one time he swam back out but i had like a little mini heart attack because i thought he was gonna get stuck in here and drown so i just went ahead to play it safe and i just walled out because there's no reason for like anything to literally be in there i don't really need to go in there that's just where the conduit is so yeah but now it will be home to the glow squid and i hear you poseidon Poseidon is my trident drowned. He's named Poseidon because it's a cross between Poseidon and Siren because I tried to make a Siren rock for him. And yeah, we have all of our subscribers here. Um, okay, uh, Milo will eventually, there he is. Milo will eventually find his way to the others and they'll kind of school together. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is something that I'm actually pretty excited for. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this mob in my game, but I've passed by him a lot. Um, and if you know, when a mob picks up an item, they don't despawn so i've been keeping my eye on this husk in the mesa over here so let me just fly on over oh i think i'm passing it it's right here <laughs> so i pass by this place a lot because every time i go to the end i spawn at my world spawn because i usually sleep in the bed in my house and it's obstructed so i always have to kind of fly back home and i'm assuming he spawned in this desert here because husks they only spawn in deserts obviously they don't spawn in mesas but i'm assuming he spawned down here and kind of made his way up here or maybe on this other side over here uh but yeah he's in this cave right now where is it right here so let me just come on in and let me show you what he's holding he's holding a stick it is perfect he is going to be our conductor i'm going to name him maestro i don't need to name him right now he won't despawn as long as he's holding that but i still want to name him maestro just because i think that'll be hilarious it looks like he's conducting <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. So as you guys know, I'm bringing more bios. Funny, um, I'm bringing more bios to my area. Uh, so you can guess what I'm planning to transform the area of the concert hall to because I'm bringing a husk there. I'm trying to put the mobs kind of in relation to where they actually spawn. So we have our husk is going to be in a you guess it a desert so i'm going to transform that whole area into a desert i have a ton of sand the sad thing is i smelted an entire double chest of sand into glass because at one point i was planning to build a build i guess i'll still do a build out of glass but i was planning to make an aquarium but i decided not to do that i decided to just turn my squidgeary into the aquarium uh, but yeah, I was going to make an above ground aquarium and I nixed that idea. But yeah, it was too late. I already smelted all of that sand. So yeah, that's not good. So I'm going to have to get more sand probably. But come on. Okay, I'm going to basically bring this guy there and you guys will see how it turns out when I do the final reveal. So I will see you then. Okay, it is quite a while later. 
I've placed so much sand. I still need to place more, but I think it's sufficient enough so that you guys can get the overall effect of this being a desert owl. So I'm going to do the grand reveal. So without further ado, I give you guys the concert hall. Da -da -da -da. It looks beautiful. I am obsessed with this. This is by far my best build to date. I am so happy with how this turned out. So let me show you what it looks like on the map. Here is the Deathly Hallow symbol and I have some custom trees that all like made exactly the same except for the height. I made them all slightly different heights so that can kind of give us a little bit of variation but this is the way I'm kind of planning to do the paths in the desert. It's andesite kind of trimming and then we have some sandstone slabs. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I placed all of this sand guys you should be very proud of me i don't even want to talk about it i'm over it i'm over it i'm not going to extend the desert for quite a while it's going to stay like this for a little bit because i can't even think about getting more sand and placing it anymore like this took forever uh but yes this is our concert hall so let's walk up the path and gaze in its majesty it is so cool i might extend this courtyard a little bit more um but for now this will do i have a little reflection pond and i have some glowstone in there so it can light up there's also glowstone underneath these um what is this called a composter 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 one of those <laughs> uh but yeah there's some glowstone and it actually shines through so there's lots of light and i have some lanterns in the trees and i think this looks pretty cool it looks like a little planter here and then we have these kind of supporting the tall i guess they're kind of like palm trees a little bit um but yes the moment that you guys have been waiting for the interior let's go in we first enter the lobby. I have my Jesty Realm initials into the carpet and the floor. I have some like little swirly designs that I thought kind of looked kind of cool. Uh, and yes, these are the ticket booths. So this is where you come and get your season subscription tickets and or just a ticket for the concert that night. Um, this one doesn't have glass in the front because I have a bed hiding back there. Uh, I've been putting beds and inner chests at all of my builds so that way I can just kind of sleep if I'm near it and I don't always have to go home. I always do keep this bed in my inventory here but that's more so for like when I'm adventuring I have a bed on me. Um, okay these stairs lead up to the balcony we'll get to that later but first we will start with the main hall. So here we go I'm gonna crouch and let's enter Jesty Realm Concert Hall. It is so beautiful in here. There's so much quartz everywhere. And we have Maestro. He's ready to start conducting the orchestra. This is... I am obsessed! It looks so cool! Like, I think I did a pretty good job with this. So let me get on stage. Hi, Maestro. Oh, you can see his name if I do that. There we go. I can't look through glass. Um, but yes, this is our concert hall. You can see the balcony upstairs. I have like the sound engineering box in the back. Um, these are acoustic panels. If you look in concert halls, quite often over the stage, there's like panels that kind of help project the sound out into the audience. Um, so yeah, that's what that is supposed to be up there. And then I use some signs for the music stand so everybody has their every chair has their own little music stand it's so cool it's so cool i'm obsessed with this and i use prismarine for the roof and i also use it under here because that's how we can see our deathly hallow shape obviously but also it kind of breaks up the coloring in here because if it was all quartz it would just be too much white even when i stand right here you can see it almost looks just washed out almost which is why i kind of put this down here in the balcony as well just so we can have some contrast in the like upper section of the build and i have red carpets everywhere hopefully this doesn't trigger you guys but since this was an even build i couldn't do even like so this row is shifted to the right then we shift to the left then we shift to the right again but the sides are um, symmetrical uh, but yeah i also decided against the middle aisle i went with two um side aisles so that was something that i changed from the beginning the doors on the side here these are false doors um i just put that there again to add some kind of contrast because it was just too much quartz everywhere and we can't like make a room here because this is the actual exterior of the building these are the stairs that we built in the beginning of the episode if i break this it's like outside so yeah we don't want that so the single doors are fake doors but the double doors are real so let's go on upstairs into the balcony so let's go this way we'll take these stairs over here and i did spiral staircases these are kind of awkward to use but it was the only thing that i could fit in the space that i had like the other design that i was trying to work with just didn't quite work so i just went with this and now we're up in the upper section i have lots of glowstone not glowstone um sea lanterns Oh, I didn't talk about that on the outside. The stair shape that we did it had like little gaps in it and I put these lanterns behind it so that way it lights up at night. I guess I'll show you guys the build at night as well. But yes, I have some plants with some water in the cauldrons and here's the sound engineering box. We're just gonna come in here. And yes, I have 
my ender chest obviously because I like to keep ender chests at all of my builds but these are all of the music discs that I found in Jesty Craft so far most of these were from dungeons but I want to say two of them I got from actually getting the skeleton to kill a creeper uh, but yeah this is all I have this isn't all of the discs that exist but I have three cats cats is the most common disc I guess so that's why I have so many of those but then I have what is this Maul, Ward, Malohi, Wait, uh, 13 and the broken disc 11 so yeah and I have my jukebox right here this is the one and only jukebox that I've ever made in Jesse Craft it was a really early episode when we made that um, I wasn't even done building my house when I made that but yeah I just brought it over here instead and we can play those music discs if we need to but here we can see everyone we can see the stage I am obsessed with this so let's go into the balcony seating area I have a little glass barrier here to keep people from falling off that would be bad um, yeah so we can sit here and watch the concert from up here. The conductor is addressing the audience. Turn around, sir. I'm ready for the concert to start. <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay. Is that everything? I think so. I have some lights up here. I think, yeah, it just looks so cool and like regal. Like, I really love how this turned out. And it's so much quartz. I'm still crying about how much quartz I used. Oh, the sun is going down. Perfect. Um, so let's just come out here. Yes, yes. And you can see it at nighttime. So yeah, you can see how I have the sea ledge behind here. So the whole like top section of that kind of lights up. And I also have some lights along the side. We'll do a little fly around. Let me eat. Um, sun, go down faster. The stars are out. The lights are shiny. Let me get my rocket. Let's fly. And let's take a look. It looks so cool. I am so happy with how this turned out. I am so happy with how this turned out. I still don't want to talk about the sand. I don't want to talk about it. I'm still, I'm still traumatized. <laughs> like, I did not expect it to take as much as it did. And I, yeah, it was, it was not a good idea. I'm happy it's done now. It's not completely done. I still want to extend it a little bit more. But like, if I knew what I know now and I hadn't done that, I would not be doing it like I would not do this again that's a one-time thing never again um, so yes but it turned out really 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 cool so yeah I'm just gonna end the episode on top of the concert hall because why not oh by the way this is all stairs and half slabs so mobs cannot spawn up here um, I've made sure it's mob proof I pretty much do that with all of my builds like whenever I build things I make sure that mobs can't spawn on the things I need to actually go and do the narwhal island because I didn't do that there yet because I didn't add any lights I don't know if you guys noticed that I added very few lights in Narwhal Island because I want to wait until I'm- Ah! Spider! I forgot! Spiders can't climb up here! Let me out! <laughs> that, I don't know why that scared me so much! Oh, uh, like, I would have definitely- Oh, maybe I wouldn't have survived. I'm not even wearing my armor. Yeah, that would have been bad. Okay, uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, I didn't do any lighting on Narwhal Island because I want to wait until I'm in 1.16 because I want to get the blue lanterns and the blue fires because I think that'll look really cool if all of the lighting has like a blue kind of look to it on Narwhal Island. Okay, I guess that brings us to the end of the episode. Guys, please leave a like on this episode. I worked so hard on this and I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. Um, but yes, if you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!